You've probably heard of Anonymous, the group on the internet that sports Guy Fox masks and is portrayed as a bunch of basement-dwelling social outcast hackers by the media. It started out as a sort of joke on 4chan, then became a trolling group with an occasional activist attitude. Some of the trollish behavior of Anon included sending unpaid pizzas to houses, DDoSing websites, posting humiliating information, and prank calls. In 2008, a private video of Tom Cruise praising Scientology made it online and was subsequently taken down by the church. This attempt of the Church of Scientology to hide the video irritated Anon, and they began a massive trolling operation against the organization. Those that had been fighting against the Church of Scientology years before came to Anon and asked them to move away from their illegal and childish trolling and move towards legitimate protesting outside the Scientology headquarters. This idea appealed to the majority of Anon, and they moved toward a legal form of protesting. Like all of the anonymous activities, they eventually got tired of this and went back to their trolling with the occasional legitimate cause. Anon got its big break around the time the governments were starting to come against WikiLeaks, which was also around the time of the Iranian uprisings. The increase in potential political causes started to move Anonymous toward more activist actions. Anyone can be a member of Anonymous. There aren't any rules or guidelines. While there are actual hackers that are members, they make up a very small portion of Anonymous. Most members are your normal, everyday people with a computer. Your grandmother, lawyer, or teacher could be a member of Anon. The Guy Fox mask that Anon is associated with comes from the comic book and subsequent movie adaptation, V for Vendetta, which is about an anarchist vigilante in futuristic Britain. Guy Fox is an actual historical figure. He attempted to blow up Parliament in 1604 in order to destabilize the British government and instate Catholic domination, which was significantly more restrictive than the government at the time. Anyway, he failed, but people still like to wear his mask. Oddly enough, the mask design is owned by Time Warner, so a percentage of the sale of each mask goes to them. Anonymous organizes its raids and communicates through 4chan and other image boards, wikis, forums, and IRC networks. While Anonymous claims to not have any leaders, it does have a form of organization and logistics that shapes it as a group. Most Anon operations are formed in the following fashion. One or two people think some fact or event is unjust and something should be done about it. They will talk to other Anon members and suggest ideas. Whether an operation will actually be launched or not mostly depends on how many Anon support the idea. No one can approve or reject an idea in Anon. If enough people like the idea, they will support it. If not, it will be ignored and dropped. There isn't a specific number of people required for an operation. Operation H.B. Gary was tackled by about half a dozen people, whereas something like Operation Tunisia involves several hundred people. Anonymous has various methods of annoying its victims. Distributed denial of service attacks, prank calls, spam emails, ordering numerous pizza deliveries to households, straight up hacking, and more. A distributed denial of service attack is when a site is visited so many times in a certain period that it can't handle all the traffic and shuts down. And non-members run a program that syncs hundreds or thousands of computers to thwart a single website at once. In the case of a non taking down the MasterCard servers, they used over 2,000 computers to DDoS the site. A DDoS attack is devastating to a company. When PayPal was brought down, millions of transactions couldn't go through, resulting in massive fees that would have to be sorted out in court. Anon has gone against the Egyptian and Iranian government, Amazon, the Motion Picture Association of America, Recording Industry Association of America, and more. Recently, they announced a plan to bring down Facebook and proclaimed that they were coming down on those distributing child pornography. Although Anon values its privacy, they have exposed quite a bit of private data owned by companies and organizations. They leaked private data owned by H.B. Geary after their owners threatened to expose Anon members, and they gave out private information of officers involved in the Occupy Wall Street arrests. Members hide their identity by faking or masking their IP address, or using a zombie computer. A zombie computer is one that has been compromised through viruses, trojans, or other malware. The virus, trojan, or malware will then make the computer send out information to target websites. The entire time, the owner of the zombie computer has no clue as to the activities his machine is partaking in. Afterwards, all the logs would be deleted, removing any traces of their actions. A single infected computer will then be used to infect another, and so on. While Anon still reflects its trollish 4chan origins, it has managed to move towards fighting for moral causes. Anonymous' actions are highly illegal, but the organization is often viewed favorably by advocates of free speech and internet neutrality. One thing is for sure, law enforcement will have to adapt if it ever wants to keep up with leaderless online groups like these.